Welcome back, everyone, and welcome to Choices Life Coaching and launch your first live workshop formula with me, Jennifer Gray. Now, in this segment, we will discuss the... <laughs> We will discuss how to continue to launch your workshop step by step, and you're off to a good start. Now, in the first segment, we discussed how to create your ideas, how to get the ideas circulating how to create your theme, the pricing, and the overall delivery method is beginning to take shape. Now, welcome to chapter two. <laughs> and I can say that welcome to chapter two. It is designed to help you pull together some necessary information to include into your workshop, mainly the content and the delivery method. Now, you will choose your topic, and if you haven't already, choose which one of the four styles that you would like best for structuring your content. Create and craft a title for your workshop and get clear on ways to make your workshop a priceless experience for you and for your participants. Now, in this section, we will choose, in section one, we'll discuss the workshop topic, workshop format delivery, draft the workshop title and choose your workshop content format. And we'll also discuss ways to trim content if it is too much, okay? We'll also discuss the topics and the topic would be money, business or success, performance improvement, relationship, health, and appearance are looking better. Then we'll discuss temperature, and that would be to take the temperature of your clients or do a survey. Notice what people are struggling with, asking, you know, asking you questions about, like, Conduct an informal interview, create a survey, and ask for responses. Now, with the workshop topic, what is your topic of discussion? With the content styles, there are four different styles of content that you can choose from. Step-by-step -step process how to get started, community, and mastering new skills. Now, with that, combining parts to make a new whole is that you'll learn how to create what it is that you have in your brain. And then you'll learn how to evaluate, judging the value of the information. You'll also learn how to analyze, breaking down the information into component parts, and you'll learn how to apply, apply the facts, the rules, the concept, and the ideas. Then understanding, understanding what the facts mean, and remember, to by recognizing, recalling, implementing what it is that you have learned. Now, we'll use benefit words, easy and exciting, you know, reduce, helpful, learn how, free. These are benefit words. And to hit the bullseye, 
you have sure sure fire like uh strat like uh strategy elite uh simple sure these are sure fire words that criteria discover increase okay now when it comes to your workshop title what is the title of your workshop you need a name so now with that you have the content solves what what does the content of your workshop solve is it solution oriented what is the problem that you are either fixing or solving for them you can have handouts and exercise and activity sheet now i can say choose activity exercises participants email in advance for review role playing and active involvement creating checklists that they can complete on site, go on location and do an on site, uh, what they call it, evaluation activity, do a shopping exercise, gardening, create a vision board and make sure that you have an activity or an exercise. Now, if you are doing a full day intensive, and a full day intensive would be an eight hour intensive, have something that you and the participants can do together, like walking, gardening, uh, hiking, dancing, cycling, active uh, recreation, uh, swimming. Now, here are three ways that you can trim down the content if you're planning a day that is too packed. And I say packed, that is too full of activities. You can trim 25% of your total content by covering a little less in each section. With your online business content and strategist, with this course content creator, we are going to break down the journey. And that journey is the participants that you teach the system, the will and the big picture. And I say the big picture as this is your workshop. Picture your audience and who the workshop participants will be. Make, your, make sure that your workshop, who is your workshop designed to? Who is it for? Is it, you know, you help participants solve a particular problem in three to five steps? five to seven step. Is it a weight loss pro program? Is it a health and wellness program? They will come to the workshop feeling and thinking how. At the beginning of the workshop, what would, are you anticipating what it is that they will be feeling? Are they excited to learn? Are they intrigued and are they open to receive what it is that you will be teaching them for that day? By the end of the workshop, here is another content or another thought. How will they feel? What will they know? Will they be able to do what it is that you have taught them? Will they be able to implement what it is that they have learned? Now, what steps will they take? 
Step one, step two, step three, step four. What baby steps from the k method? <laughs> Remember, step by step by step by step will they implement in making the progress, making the changes that are necessary. And what is the end result of that workshop? Now, what is the starting point? The start point of your audience for new and small business owners who are either disorganized and either losing money due to lack of productivity in the business. Step one, get clear on what's causing the disorganization and the productivity leak. Define the desired outcome and the goal for the 90 days. Now, where do they desire to be for those within that 90 days? And time and calendar system. This is important. Establish a morning routine to set up for new success on a daily basis. What is the start point of the audience? New small business owners who are either disorganized and who are either disorganized and losing money or due to a lack of productivity in the business. Now, structure these segments that you teach during the workshop Below is the basic framework. Use this as a guide when you either map out how you will structure each segment of the workshop, share the segment lesson plan and objective with your audience. Here are a few tips. Ask questions that will help your clients identify and engage like by a show of hands, how many of you, and insert something like, you know your audience is or is doing this or is not doing this as it relates to the topic. Now, get your audience to engage by coming up with a signature way for them to stay engaged and focus. Now, for example, like Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins will always ask his audience, like, say I after he makes a, a speech or something, something that you can relate to, something that he has taught them that, that resonates with them. He'll say, say I, 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 raise your hand, okay? Now, start with a story or something interesting to begin each segment. Identify the main like problem points that the teaching points that you are going to solve for them and to teach them how to solve it with this transition. Anything if you are making baby steps or changes and implementing the k method, you will be in a state of transition. And within that transition is to maintain teaching something that will get their attention and entice them to take action. Now, Structure the segments that you teach. Structure these segments that you teach so that during the workshop, and here is a step-by-step. -step. Below is the frame is the framework, right? Now, within that framework, use this as a guide that when you map out how you will structure each of the segments of your workshop, 
teach them the information to your audience and maintain the teaching points. Now, here's another tip. Give your audience the opportunity to ASK, ask you questions, ask you a few questions. You're going to make it interactive, okay, to ensure that their understanding of what it is that they have learned and what it is that you are sharing with them. Do a story and a lecture and use the demonstration, give examples, share your case studies and show images and use V-I-S-U-A-L presentations like a slideshow uh, presentation and give your audience an opportunity to ask a few questions and make it interactive. Now, structure the segments that you teach during the workshop. Below is the basic framework. Use this as a guide when you either map out how you will structure each segment of your workshop. And next is guide your audience, you and them. And Practice doing what it is that you have just taught them. Structure your training so that you can cater to those that are audio learners, visual learners, and kinetic learners. Now, those people learn differently by sight by doing and by seeing and hearing, okay? Now structure the segments that you teach them during the workshop and use this as a guide when you map out the structure of each segment of your workshop. Encourage your audience to practice on their own. Use exercises and workbook and questionnaires and ask them questions as it relates to them. Think how they can implement what it is that they're learning and how the workshop will benefit them. Share how they can implement what it is that they have learned after the workshop. Now, structure the segments that you teach during the workshop and make sure that you have recap, review, and you're going to review the main points. And these are your anchor thoughts, okay, and the anchor points. Now, you're going to have the segment outline, the segment components, Share the segment lesson and objective with your audience. Now, audience implements practices and have them do it together as a group or they can practice individually on their own. Now, you're going to use your outline notes, training materials, and the teaching point. Now, with the, with your guide, your audience practice session, and you're going to do a guided practice session with your participant. I should change that word to make it your participants or audience. Okay. And at the end, you will take notes of everything that you have been learning during the presentation. Okay, and on that note, that is the end of chapter two. And you can do, uh, join me at the next segment for an additional training session. And on that note, 
Thank you so very much and have a wonderful day. Oh, yes. You can also connect with me at uh, Jennifer Gray at www.jennifergray.org and uh, Choices Life Coaching, LLC. And you can also listen to the podcast, Jennifer's Perspective, on Anchor FM, Spotify, YouTube, and uh, Apple, iTunes, Anchor. And you can also pick up a copy of my book on uh, Amazon.com and uh, Business Success for Coaches and Counselors, Marketing Basics, Led by the Spirit, and Business Success for Coaches and Counselors, Marketing Basics, Led by the Spirit, and My Journey to Healing. And you can pick that up in Kindle format. You can download that as well. And on that note, uh, have a wonderful day, everyone. See you at the next session.